What if you could command a computer with just your thoughts? Imagine a world where the lines between human and machine blur, where your mind becomes the ultimate remote control. Picture a future where complex tasks are effortlessly executed, all at the speed of thought. This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie. It's a reality we're inching closer to every day. A reality made possible by an extraordinary innovation. Welcome to the reality of neural interfaces. At its core, a neural interface is a translator, a bridge between your brain and external devices. Now, what does this mean? Well, think of neural interfaces as devices that interact with your nervous system. They could be placed outside or inside your brain or nervous system, and they perform two critical functions. Firstly, they record activity. Imagine a room full of people speaking different languages, and you're trying to understand what's being said. Neural interfaces are like your personal translator, decoding the language of your neurons, capturing neural signals to help us understand brain activity. Secondly, they stimulate activity. Have you ever had to jumpstart a car? It's the same concept here, except instead of a car, it's a neuron. Neural interfaces can send electrical impulses to specific areas, activating neurons, almost like jumpstarting a dormant circuit. Now, there are two types of these fascinating devices. The first type is internal interfaces, also known as implanted interfaces. These reside inside your brain or body. Examples include brain implants used for treating conditions like Parkinson's disease and tremors. We also have cochlear implants that restore hearing and electrical foot stimulators, aiding in stroke recovery. The second type is external interfaces, which are wearable. Common examples of these include brain-computer interfaces, often in the form of EEG or electroencephalography headsets. These incredible devices allow us to control computers, prosthetics, or even play games using our thoughts. So, whether it's regaining lost functions due to injury or medical conditions, or controlling a computer game with your mind, neural interfaces are the key. They are the bridge between us and the digital world, opening up possibilities we could only dream of a few years ago. They are not just devices, but extensions of our being, expanding what it means to be human in the 21st century. The possibilities seem endless, but with great power comes great responsibility. As we delve deeper into the world of neural interfaces, we find ourselves standing at the precipice of medical marvels and ethical conundrums. Let's first consider the medical marvels. Neural interfaces are nothing short of miraculous, offering potential solutions to some of humanity's most debilitating conditions. Imagine regaining lost functions due to injury or medical conditions. Picture a world where brain implants combat the tremors of Parkinson's disease, or where cochlear implants restore the gift of sound to the hearing impaired. Stroke rehabilitation could be revolutionized with the electrical stimulation, offering hope where once there was none. But as we merge mind and machine, we must also confront the ethical dilemmas that arise. Privacy concerns loom large as we question how much access should external parties have to our neural data. We must grapple with issues of autonomy and whether we retain control over our thoughts and actions when they can be influenced by external stimulation. And let's not forget the question of equality. Will neural enhancements create disparities, widening the gap between those who can afford enhancements and those who cannot? Yet, the field of neural interfaces is abuzz with excitement. Recent developments from tech giants like Neuralink, founded by Elon Musk and Facebook with its pioneering work on brain typing technology, underscore the fervor in this field. And it's not just Silicon Valley leading the charge. The United Kingdom has set its sights on becoming a world leader in neural interfaces, fostering innovation while addressing ethical concerns. In this brave new world, we must navigate the balance between innovation and ethics. As we harness the power of neural interfaces, we must also ensure that we do not lose sight of the human element. After all, it is our humanity that makes us unique, and it is our responsibility to ensure that as we bridge mind and machine, we do so with care, consideration, and a firm commitment to ethical principles. Where do we draw the line between recovery and enhancement? This question echoes in the halls of the Royal Society, the UK's most eminent scientific body. A vibrant advocate for an inclusive dialogue on neural interfaces, the Royal Society invites us all to participate in sculpting the future of this groundbreaking technology. The public sentiment is clear and nuanced. 
There is robust support for the use of neural interfaces in restoring lost abilities. Just imagine a world where the paralyzed walk again, where the deaf hear the symphony of life, where the tremors of Parkinson's disease are silenced. The potential for recovery is awe-inspiring and the public stands firmly behind it. However, when it comes to enhancement, the waters become murkier. The notion of using neural interfaces to boost memory, concentration, or physical skills in healthy individuals garners less public support. There's a line drawn between restoring what was lost and augmenting what is already there, a line that society is still grappling to define. This dialogue, this conversation, is not only necessary but vital. As we stand on the precipice of a new era where mind and machine are not separate entities but intertwined, we must navigate these waters with caution and wisdom. As we venture into this uncharted territory, it is essential to shape their use and regulation together. Neural interfaces, they're not just a concept anymore, they're a reality. As we stand at the crossroads of a new era, these fascinating devices are shaping the future, creating a seamless link between the human mind and machine. The potential is enormous, from restoring lost abilities to revolutionizing the way we interact with technology. Yet, this path is not without its obstacles. Ethical dilemmas need to be addressed, and the balance between innovation and privacy must be carefully considered. But, with thoughtful dialogue and regulation, we can navigate these challenges and unlock a future where mind and machine work in harmony. The world of neural interfaces is an exciting frontier, a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a journey that continues to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Join us on this incredible journey as we continue to explore and unravel the mysteries of neural interfaces, the bridge between mind and machine.